In this video, I'm going to show you how I recovered my Facebook profile and ad account after they got banned by Facebook. Hi, Damola here, the founder of DP Tracks and the creator of Facebook Ads Accelerator. And in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process I used for getting my Facebook profile back and my ad account. This is the exact process that I teach my students in Facebook Ads Accelerator for solving any issue they have with Facebook. But before I get into that, let me give you guys a quick backstory of what happened so that you can also avoid it if something similar is happening to you. And it all started when my client's ad accounts got banned when I was trying to set up a new ad. Now, this ad had already gotten disapproved before, so I just made a little bit of changes and pushed it again. Now, immediately I did that, the account got flagged. It got banned by Facebook. Immediately, I just clicked on the publish button. Once that happened, I started the process to uh, get the ad account back. I'm going to leave a link in the description and I'm also going to create a new video showing you how to get in touch with Facebook when you have issues like this. But this video is focused specifically on my profile, how I got it back, how it got locked, and also the ad account. Now, I started the process for getting the ad account back and immediately I got the ad account back. It took about, I think it took about four to five days. Immediately I got it back. That second, they banned my Facebook profile from advertising for anybody. I'm sure a lot of you already know what that is like. So you can't create new business manager account. You can't edit any ad. You can't do anything related to advertisement on Facebook. Now, obviously, this was a mistake. This was a bug, right? So I started the process yet again. But before I started the process, this time, um, usually when you want to request a review, when you have this kind of issues, you have to visit facebook.com slash account quality, right? Now, when you do that, you're going to see the option to request a review. But if you scroll down a little, you'll see all the issues that your account currently has. So for example, we are talking about issues like maybe disapproved ads in the past, um, the fact that your account has gotten banned, um, maybe if you have like catalogs, you'd also see them there. Now, I always advise people to clear all those things before you request a review because a Facebook rep can, you know, check out your account, see those things and just without even investigating, just decide to ban you. Then you might even have issues where maybe you are an admin of a business manager account that has a banned ad account. Now, I always advise people to clear everything. Now, you just do that by removing yourself from the business manager account. If you have disapproved ads or ads with issues, you delete those ads. Um, if you have e-commerce, uh, if you have an e-commerce store and you've uploaded your products and those products got flagged, all you have to do is completely delete the catalogs. Okay, so you want to make sure you clear everything before hitting the review now something interesting to note before i move on is that i think after like three days or so of requesting a review that's for my personal profile to be able to advertise this time i initiated a chat with facebook supports to ask them for like an update basically so one of them checked my account and then he sent an email to me that i could see that i had disobeyed facebook's policy and he knows i did not do it purposely but that's a uh, somebody from Facebook's internal team is still going to check the accounts, etc, etc. And I was a little confused, like I am very sure I did not do anything. In fact, it was after you guys reinstated my client's accounts that you immediately blocked my account, like immediately. That's so, I definitely did not do anything wrong. So, instead of, you know, getting angry or, or sending like another email and starting what I, I basically can't finish, I decided to go to account quality and see what he was saying. So I saw multiple issues from other clients' accounts, in fact, past clients actually, that I still had access to, like their business manager accounts and all of that. So I got rid of all of them. I checked for the ones that had um, ads approve, yeah, approval issue. I checked for the ones with catalog issues and I removed everything. So I cleared everything completely from my account. So all that was then left was my own account showing that it had been restricted from advertising on Facebook. And so, you know, I did that. And then maybe two, three days later, the internal team finally got around to checking my account and they just sent an email that they are sorry for the inconveniences, etc, etc. And that was it. So I got my personal profile back again. 
these things are easy to do when you actually did not do anything bad, when you did not violate any policies. When you do violate the policy, it's usually a little bit hard. You know, you would probably tell them something like you, uh, you know, you've checked the terms and conditions, their policy, and realized what you've done, and you're not going to do it again. It's CTC, and basically just appeal to them. Now, about I think just a single day after I got my personal profile back. Uh, my assistant and I were handling my Facebook profile, we're replying to messages and comments. And just like that, I just saw a locked screen. I saw that I'd been locked out of Facebook for suspicious activities. Now, two things happened, okay? Two things I believe were the cause of my account getting locked, completely removed from Facebook. Number one was the fact that my assistant and I were using the account at the same time. That's my account. And number two was a comment that I made on Facebook. Now, I didn't even realize this until later, and I'm going to share that on the screen. So uh, somebody asked in one of my ads that they needed help with Facebook ads, and the person looked like a complete beginner. So I was like, oh, you could actually do Facebook's free courses and then i linked to the courses i did i had no idea that that was a problem but when i was like refreshing the page and you know trying to get my profile back and all of that that's now this time it's not advertising the whole profile got removed which means if you had searched for me on facebook within that period you would not have seen me at all i basically did not exist okay so around that time it just popped up the uh, this comment violates policy, etc, etc. And I looked at the comment and I was a little confused, like, what's going on? Because I literally linked to you guys. Why should I get banned for that? Why should that be one of the problems? But then later, I talked to somebody, a friend of mine who also runs a lot of ads, and then he mentioned the same issue, that he linked in the comment section to something Facebook-related on, like, a Facebook link, and then the comments got flagged. So that is another thing that I learned during this whole issue that's try not to link to Facebook related things inside Facebook. So this is the screen that I got shown when I got locked out of Facebook. Now from this screen, there is literally nothing you can do. Even after you hit the learn more button and you try to follow any of the things that pops up, nothing is actually going to happen. You're not going to see an option to chat with Facebook support. You're not going to see an option to see to learn how you can reinstall or get your account reinstated. It was it was really, really bad because you're trapped. There's nothing you can do. So of course, I tried reaching to Facebook support. I have a direct link to start uh, a chat with them because I run ads. I was unable to access it. Anytime I just visit any page at all on Facebook, I'll get redirected to the same locked screen. Now, sometimes you might get lucky and then they will immediately tell you to uh, verify your account by entering a code that will be sent to your phone. But unfortunately, in my case, they said I had exceeded the amount of times. So they just locked it completely and that was it for me. So now I'm going to explain, go through the step-by-step -step process that I used to get the account back. So again, the first thing I did was to hit the learn more button and see what I could find out about what happened. But unfortunately, as I said, that does not work at all. You are completely locked out, so you can't access any Facebook property. And the second thing I tried to do was to go through Facebook support, normal support to ask for help and all of that. Again, you can't do that. You keep getting redirected to the locked screen. The third thing I did was to use my friend's profile. So I just sent uh, messages to two of my friends that, oh, hi, uh, can you help me initiate a chat with Facebook and explain what happened and see how they can help out? Then I actually also had access to the email address of the previous person I talked to. That's the guy that told me that my account actually had issues at see that I did not reply. So obviously the case was kind of still open because I did not reply him. So I replied that email telling him what happened with uh, my account. Now, these different options, uh, they all ended up sending emails to my email box because, you know, I gave them my details through the chat. Uh, that's for my friends that helped me out. I gave them my details, my Facebook profile details, which is um, your Facebook profile URL, your email address, and then the name itself. Okay, I think some of them will actually ask for your ad accounts, maybe to see whether you run ads or something. So I obviously gave them my ad accounts in addition so that at least they could see that I was a serious, uh, serious person. So all these options ended up with all of them emailing me and they all said the same thing, that they could not help from their end, that it was beyond, I don't know what 
they were able to work on but that they were able to help me find some links now i'm going to link to those links in the comment section the reason why i'm telling you this is so that you would just skip through that process okay so uh they sent a bunch of links i think four links actually now out of these links i'd actually seen like two of them already from my research online to find out how to get the uh, profile back because I was actually losing a lot of money just by being off Facebook. In fact, somebody reached out and thought I was a scammer because right after she paid me was when my account got deleted. So she just saw this Facebook user doesn't exist or something like that. So luckily for me, she searched for me on Instagram and my Instagram account was still live. So she sent a message that this, 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 she made a payment. I was like, oh, they're really sorry about that. Uh, my account got uh, locked by Facebook, etc., etc., and all of that. So, they sent uh, four links. Now, every single one of them actually sent the same thing. Of course, the variations were in what they wrote before the links, but they all sent those links. Now, as I said, I'd already gotten like two of those links before and I had tested them. I wasn't able to use them. So, that's another thing. Those links are not going to work for the simple reason that you are locked out from Facebook and those links are Facebook links. So, what did I do? I simply send those links to friends to help me to fill the form. So the forms will actually open. You'll just not be able to submit it. Again, you might be able to submit it, but I was not able to submit it. So I had already drafted out what I wanted, uh, basically explaining that I run ads and I have no idea what policy got violated to get my account locked. I have no idea what's going on. And uh, my clients are literally waiting for me. I'm losing a lot of money. They should please help me check it out, find out what went wrong and reinstate my account. You have to be humble because you, you do not own Facebook. So there's nothing to be proud about. Okay, so I was quite humble about it. And then I gave them all the details that they would potentially ask for. But again, as I said, they all sent me those links. So I got the uh, script that I wanted. I had written everything down and I sent it to all my friends. Now, the first day, uh, those forms probably got filled like, each of them got filled like three to four times, okay? Three to four times, and then every other day, I just tried to still fill. It's something I noticed a lot of people were doing online for other things, like their banned Instagram account and all of that. They were filling multiple times. Now, one extra thing that I did, I'm not sure if it made a difference, but someone on Reddit swore that that was the only thing they did, and it's, uh, it was how they got their accounts back. But... To use this method, you need an iPhone. So with an iPhone, when you log into the app, right? Of course, you are going to see the locked screen. There's nothing you can do about that. But there's uh, a setting where if you shake the iPhone, you see a send report or send error report or something like that. Basically, if you have issues with the app. Now, when that pops up, uh, you will see a form that you can fill. So I just uh basically typed my script the script i had written before i think there was also an option to attach a screenshot of your id of course i also did that i submitted it i think i did that like three times the first day maybe twice the second day and all of that so guys that was all i did that was literally all i did and then after that all that remained was the waiting game so i kept waiting now after a couple of days the learn more button finally switched to get started. Now, it actually happened, like I think one or two times within the three, four day period. But each time I went through the process, I still got redirected to the locked screen. Okay, and I kept trying. Each time it will happen, I will start filling all the forms again. Now guys, remember as I said, I had gotten in touch with Facebook and they said there was nothing they could do that I had to fill those links. So each time I tried to get started and it did not work, um, I would fill those forms again just in case and then i'll do the iphone stuff so um maybe on the fourth day or fifth day or something honestly i can't remember the specific day uh the get started option popped up again this time i just left it alone because what i noticed was each time i used the get started option uh they would actually send a verification code and then i'll enter it and then they'll tell me you have used this option too many times so when i saw the get started after like i don't know three four five days I left everything. I did not attempt to click on it. I gave it more than 24 hours just so maybe the verification method could like reset or something. So immediately that happened. Uh, that's after the over after 24 hours, I decided to use the iPhone to sign in again. I'm not sure if it made a difference. I have absolutely no idea, but like two different people on Reddit mentioned the same thing that it was easier for them to get the account back when they use an iPhone. Again, I did not test it. I wasn't interested in seeing whether it would work or not. 
that's using some other device so i used my uh iphone now guys uh the the facebook reps uh, i think two of them actually told me to clear my cash switch my device use a different device uh, that's when i was trying to fill the form again those things did not work for me you can of course try it but it did not work for me i had to get my friends to get it set up for me so uh 24 hours later i switched on the iPhone and then I went through the process, get started ETC to see. I got a verification code, I entered everything. And immediately after doing that, I actually got an error message, right? And I was like, wow, that after all of this, we are still back here. But it was an error message. It wasn't the same as oh, you've uh, done too much verification and all of that. So I came to my laptop and you know start, uh, restarted it and logged into Facebook with the new password and everything and I was in. So guys, that was all I did. There was literally no magic. That was all I did to get my Facebook profile back. But immediately I got the profile back, I found that they had restricted my comments in no idea why for I think they said four days. It was four days from that day. Okay, I think it was it was on the 14th. They said I was not going to be able to come until the 14th. And there's something very important you have to know about the whole process. Whether you're getting your ad accounts back or you're getting your profile back or whatever issue it is, you have to be patient. Because due to current circumstances, Facebook's uh, response time is quite slow. It's no longer like before. Like usually when my clients' uh, ad accounts get banned and I request a review, in like 24 hours, it gets reinstated and everything moves on as always. But this time it was it's taking like a week. In fact, one of my uh, students told me that his account took, I think, two weeks or so before he got it back. For his was even um, uh, his advertising privileges were banned. But in my case, I had multiple issues. Uh, they first banned my client's account, then they banned my account from advertising, and then they finally locked my profile, locked me out of Facebook. But through all of this, I made sure I kept a calm head because um, really panicking is not going to solve anything. I did a lot of research and that's everything I've told you. I have literally given the step-by-step -step process. There is no um, insider trick. There is no magic. There is no mysterious uh, magic fingers you can use. All you just have to do is trust the process and be patient. Now, there's a caveat to all of this. If, you've, if you have actually done something bad, it might be way harder for you to get your accounts back. Number two, if you have appealed like especially for people that have like their personal profile restricted or their ad account restricted if you have appealed i think three to five times i'm not sure of the exact number facebook will stop you from being able to request a review permanently and well sadly there is usually not much you can do about it now again you can use the method i used where you um would ask you would start a chat with facebook again as i said i'll link to it in the comments uh, and then I'm going to do a, a video later on how to uh, get in touch with Facebook through chat if you have it enabled. If you don't have it enabled, simply ask a friend to help you to do it, okay, to start the chat for you and then, you know, have the person have the conversation on your behalf to appeal to Facebook to check your account and see if they can just help you do a review. But more often than not, if they tell you that it is your final decision, you might not be able to get it back. But honestly, it doesn't hurt to try. Now, if you've been completely banned and all of that, I guess all that remains is for you to maybe open a new profile or something. You would need like a new laptop, new IP address, new everything, just so that you don't get tracked. That's all for today. I really, really hope you guys found this video useful. I tried my best to give you the step-by-step -step process of every single thing that I did. And even if you reach out to me personally to help you out, I'm still going to tell you to do the same thing because that's exactly what I do. That's exactly what I teach my students to do. That's exactly what I tell people to do. You have no choice but to reach out to Facebook to get it done. Because if a person doesn't work in Facebook, there is nothing the person can do for you than everything I have already told you. As always, if you got value from this video, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button so you get notified when i release new videos like this see ya